Here's a problem with black Republicans like Tim Scott and Daniel Cameron and why they don't win. They don't win because they run these kind of campaigns like they are a traditional Republican. You're not. Instead of going to these areas, in particular, going into the black community, talking to black men, talking about conservative values, most black men are conservative by nature. Most black people are conservative by nature. I'm not even talking about just going to talk to black men, but go to talk to black churches, go talk to black organizations, talk about conservative principles. You got to run your campaign like you're an independent. I know you have the backing of the Republican Party. I know you need that backing in order to get on ballots, in order to get fundraising, those kind of things. But in order to really win, especially statewide races and national races, you got to present yourself as an independent. You got to consider yourself as an outsider. You got to go to areas that are naturally conservative. That is what I don't get. I don't get why conservatives like Tim Scott, like Daniel Cameron, minority conservatives, black conservatives, why they don't go into communities that are naturally conservative and build up that base? I just don't get it because I know why, because they're listening to their handlers, they're listening to the consultants who are telling them don't do it to focus on these other areas, but you're not going to win without building up your tent. You got to create your own kind of coalition conservative people in these neighborhoods. You got to create your coalition of people that go to church, that believe in the Bible, that believe in God. You got to build up that kind of coalition. And then you bring everybody else who are traditionally Republican along. That's how you win. But these black Republicans forget that. They get up there and they run. They forget the fact that unfortunately you are running as a black conservative and people see that about you first. You're not running as a traditional Republican candidate. I'm sorry, you have to understand that. And until black Republicans truly understand that, they're not gonna win statewide races and they're not gonna win national races. Mark Robinson here in North Carolina, I hope you're taking note. I haven't seen you do anything in terms of coming out to communities that are naturally conservative. I hope you do, I hope that changes. But until that changes, we will see the same results like we saw with Daniel Cameron and like we're seeing with Tim Scott. Black Republicans get on the stage, but then they get one, two, three, four, five percent. You have to resonate. You have to connect. And these people don't want to connect with folks that would want to connect with them. So instead, they lose. So that's my two cents when it comes to why black Republicans struggle and the problem that black Republicans have running state and national races. Hey. I want to say, if you haven't done so already, please hit the like button and click subscribe so we can get this message out to as many people as we can to let them know that they are not victims, they are empowered for greatness.